we lose um, within the first five years about 60% of science teachers. The bucket is always leaking. I like your fountain idea. How are you going to get energy from the fountain? We just we drink it. We, maybe we can like put a solar on it. Okay. Maybe you can cut a hole did we learn about a form of energy that would have to do with a fountain? Hydropower. Oh, what's hydropower? Yes. We're, we're making sci science learning meaningful for students by using problem-based learning as the kind of the, the vehicle to, to give, to teach science education. So instead of the teachers getting up in front of the class, lecturing, doing a lot of disjointed activities. We're making it more holistic by using problem-based learning. One of, the, one of the issues that we saw from the TIMS testing is that American education is just too disjointed. They, Monday is not connected to what the kids, what the kids learn on Monday is not connected to what they learn on Friday. What is the difference between Robert's design and the two that you guys have? Because Robert's kind of a little bigger than ours. So what does that mean? We talked yesterday about and harnessing. Also, his light bulb is a little bit bigger than that. The light bulb is? Okay. Well, his light, like well his what's providing the energy source? The sun. The sun. I've learned a tremendous amount about my teaching and about my profession because I'm participating in VISTA. And I think for all of the folks who've been a part of it, it's been a tremendous learning experience for all of us, in addition to the fact that we feel that we are having an influence, a major positive influence on science education in the state.